Okay, today we're going to take this uh, BMW, this, I think it's 1974, this one. It's a 1974 BMW E9 um, CS Automatic, uh, left-hand drive as well, showing 84,000 kilometres. Obviously, we've got no idea if that's uh, uh, right, wrong or indifferent. It's UK registered. Um, yeah, anyway, let's uh, see how we go. We've just been for a few miles this morning. All light ignition light come on properly, as they should. And it starts nicely. Starts actually quite well this one, hot or cold. Um, no problems there at all. Uh, and all the instruments all seem to be working actually. Um, just put some fuel in it. So the fuel gauge has gone up to where it was. Speedo certainly works, rev counter. Even the clock seems to work. Uh, temperature gauge seems to have temporarily stopped working. But, oh, there we go. Give it a tap and it goes. And it's showing uh, about a third temperature at the moment. Anyway, I'll turn this around a bit so that you can see the road rather than me and we'll see how we go so very nice thus far what I've um, what I've seen of it driving was into D it's either a three or four speed all to this one I think it's actually only a three speed no unpleasant noises coming from the motor at all. Rides quite nicely. You can tell that back in the day these were really sort of advanced sports coupe. Brakes well too. Changes gear really quite smoothly actually for an old uh, automatic gearbox. And steering wise it's rather nice as well. But rides quite happily, there's no horrible crashing sounds over bumps or anything um, or sort of heavy uh, heavy clunks and so steering feels nice and precise Really just gets on with the job. I'm, I'm impressed with the way it drives. Um, I haven't had one of these for years, must be 25, 30 years. And of course they've uh, absolutely rocketed in value since then. Um, but it gets on with the job. It's, um, it does get some looks as well because there's so distinctive cars, these. One of the most beautiful cars of the 70s, in my opinion. hear a faint whistling sound I can't quite tell where it's coming from um, possibly a dry joint somewhere maybe a dry wheel bearing seems to happen after you've done sort of a couple of miles possibly a dry prop shaft universal joint it's, it's hard to say so just a faint whistle Maybe um, obviously these have got pillarless doors on them. It may be uh, noise around the um, around the tops of the doors, but up to a steady. Uh, well, what we're we doing now. About 60 miles an hour. Obviously the speed is in kilometres, but it has got miles per hour readings on it as well. I suspect it's under reading a little bit. We do seem to be going faster than that. 
Yeah, we're back down to 30 now. It's a blazing hot day here today. It's 27 degrees and the temperature is sitting just below the halfway point, which is lovely. Doesn't snatch under braking. Power steering's nice on it. Get into neutral for a minute. Um, all right, so I think there we have it really. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495, or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk, for any further information. End.